Well, there we are, uh, the message there. Uh, it's simple. Simons, you're going to Sydney. Of course he is. And uh, perhaps uh, Merv Hughes, the uh, selector there, down in the right-hand corner. Now, Bill, are you coming up to Sydney tomorrow? <laughs> no, no, I'm not coming up tomorrow. I have a couple of days. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you come up and watch some decent fireworks? I mean, what's what's the point in staying down here? I mean, come up and watch the best fireworks in the world in the greatest city in the world. I can watch them on Channel Nine at home. Why should I go up there? <laughs> You're having a bad match, aren't you? You're going to go down here one nil, and you're trying to get me on this fireworks. No, mate, I take my portable with me down to the uh, down to the water's edge, and the lovely Sydney Harbour, and I can watch it on both uh, Channel Nine as well as live. So it's uh, oh, mate, it's just the best in the world. He's very good. That's a very good shot as well. That's Pike, one of my favourite cricketers, Pike, because he's a good all-round cricketer. He feels well. He bowls well. He's almost at the veteran stage now, Sean Pollock. Because every time I think of Pollock, I think of Peter and Graham. And Shadman, I think of Graham, one of the world's best ever batsmen. When you think of Peter, do you think of that, uh, those 15 stitches on your head, do you? <laughs> or just above your eye? <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't get in the nose. <laughs> that goes to cover point for a single. But uh, it's ball spinning here, and that's a I'd minor, like to see get a wicket or two. Before you get back to the cricket, that, that is a minor miracle that he doesn't get your nose. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> but there you go. Peter Pollock, a fine cricketer. And quite sharp when he um, came to Australia in 1963-64. Graham Pollock was then 19 years of age and made a magnificent century at the Adelaide Oval, one I'll never forget. Meanwhile...